Howdy ho, Techerinos! What's going down, everyone? So today we're going to be looking at some really cool NVIDIA gaming news. The Game Ready Driver comes us to us for the 457.51. My name is Matt here, the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we're going to be looking at the patch notes and the benchmarks that are going to ensue for the installation of this. Is it good? And one of the cooler things is I have upgraded my graph system again in order to accommodate to the tech community's understandings of what is actually happening. Happening. It should be a lot easier for everyone to digest, but for right now, let's go ahead and hop into the patch notes and see what has changed. Down below, I will have the direct release notes for NVIDIA if you want to go ahead and take a nice look at what they have for as far as their table of content, but easier way to digest this, personally myself, is I like to go into Reddit. It just gives a better format sometimes for as far as the delivery of what we'll end up seeing. Now, new features. What's going to end up happening with the 4 or 5, you know? 7.51 you know, big questions well introduction of the 3060 ti gpu now is available on top of that direct portions of actually moving over to the 3000 series of graphics cards that are basically emerging within the tail end of q4 of 2020 which isn't a lot a lot of people are mentioning that well there's miners getting a lot of these and i'm really kind of curious for the actual community did you get a 30 series card are they amazing are they worth it i want to know because for the scalping price no one should be paying for these i mean honestly the msrp is already good enough locked in from last gen and finally delivering to this gen so why pay double the price it doesn't make sense to me but i mean if you're a creator and i get it you have to do stuff sometimes you gotta grind i just have the really good luck sometimes but moving on past that before like trying to you know do your stats had like a high on luck on like fallout and like yeah gpu no what ends up happening for our game ready driver fixes ended up happening was for the blue screen crashes that may occur during the wake up on sleep on top of that the free style aliasing portion for launching and closing star wars squadron that also has been worked around for as far as the support chrome browsers may crash again with the blue screen which seems to be prevalent throughout this whole fixing process and the Lenevo Y740 notebook display corruption after waking up and sleeping. So a lot of sleeping errors, basically. Now, there are some open issues that are directly right over here for as far as our game-ready driver that are still up there from the Steam to the VR, the G-Sync and the enableization of that for the high fresh rate. On top of the Vulcan support with the blue screen crashes, Sunset Overdrive still makes the game list. Forza 7 always makes the game list. YouTube and the playback on the shutter becomes more of an interesting situation situation as they continue to try to fix things on that and the refresh rate over 100 in the format switching back to rgb to the ycbcr 422 a little bit more of a different format but the notebooks are the last thing they come in there with the random drops below 60 under the gameplay now this tool driver can be selected but at this point in time what i would like to say is let's go ahead and look at some well benchmarks one of the more funner things that I would like to think. Now, with digesting the newer scale, of what I've been basically doing is on the left is going to be the highlighted driver. One of the best portions of the newer driver inside of there. So we have hardware accelerator off unfortunately on the bottom which beats it it beats it on the top so when hardware accelerator is on on the very top brand new driver being the 457.51 and if i show everyone directly over here now we're doing a direct comparison of the old driver so the 457.30 so as you can see that there are some very conflicting issues now we're starting off with time spy since directx 12 is a very hot economy right now for as far as the 4k department and pushing forward the edging portion of the game now percentage wise there's not that big of a change we're talking nominal points here and there back and forth but at least the consistency of having your graphic accelerator off on time spy with your direct x12 and 4k is actually going to perform pretty decently but let's take a look at the 1080p now as we can see, the newer driver consistently drives home with DirectX 12 with the hardware accelerator off in order to actually play with the best pixels. It beats it by a really decent margin for point wise, but not a percentage wise where it's basically coming over at least one or two percent. It's basically about to crack into that. Now, one of the cooler things we can definitely look at with the newer charts they come into is a lot of performance details. I definitely do like how that as we can kind of monitor and see where dropouts are going from driver to driver. This is actually a lot more better look 
look for 3D Mark. So with driver to driver as I speak, now we're looking at well, what is better. Again, it definitely doesn't give a conflicting portion. The older driver seems like it is consistent with for as far as having the pressing point of being even, but if you look at the newer driver, there's some performance perks where you can kind of see there's a few extra points. But again, not a percentile where it's going to be going up. So let's go ahead and look at what the gaming bread and butter is on DirectX 11. Now we can see the 4K department of DirectX 11 coming into a little bit more clarity. Now we can see with the hardware accelerator off, there still is some performance perks going on versus the hardware accelerator on. Now again, this could be Windows, driver to driver, you're going to see almost a nominal increase. It's really nothing. I mean, it's still all 20% across the board, but you do get an edge with the hardware accelerator off on the newer driver, which is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and bring it down a notch real fast and go to the extreme portions of Fire Strike. This is where we start to see a little better performance out of the situational point of the newer driver. Now the consistency yet again will be that it pretty much gets its butt kicked with the hardware accelerator off. Now looking driver to driver, you can see the older driver definitely does get an edge over here for roughly about give or take a few points. But again, the newer driver hardware accelerator off beats it. Basic 1080p, let's go ahead and take a look before we get to Port Royale with ray tracing. Now you can see right over here that the newer driver, finally, just finally, the hardware accelerator on finally works. Otherwise, pretty much 90% of the gameplay you're gonna have it off in order for it to optimize until a Windows update. Now, driver to driver though, you will see that the last driver with the hardware accelerator on beats it. But again, these are all nominal increasements. Nothing is making an insanely good dent to make it a percentile over. Now, going back to that, and we're finally gonna get to our Port Royale, let's go ahead and take a look at what's gonna happen here. Now you can see that there are some improvements definitely across what we're going to look at for as far as the numbers when it goes driver to driver, but hardware accelerator on is going to be the winning factor by a few points. Now driver to driver, you're definitely going to see a little bit of improvement, but nothing in the percentile. So everyone, that pretty much wraps up what's going to end up happening for our patch notes today and benchmarks. Short story, should I install it? Yeah, not too bad. Unless you're having optimization fix, make sure you're DDUing and doing a clean install in order to make that functional. I'll have a link down below you guys and gals can check out. Now, if you're brand new to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe. Absolutely free. Helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe Intel, AMD, and, oh, I don't know, NVIDIA will just, like, sponsor me and throw me, like, GPUs I can test all the time. Because, you know, everything's so freaking rare nowadays. It's like freaking the foil Pokemons. Everyone remembers those, or at least Pokemon. They're rare Pokemon. GPUs should not be rare Pokemon. They should be like Magikarps. Just putting that out there. That you can tune to be a Gyarados. But anyways, I'm nerding out, and everyone, I'm going to say stay safe, stay classy. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Hopefully you enjoyed the new charts that are out there. Tested insanely well on my AMD patch note, so I figured we were going to go ahead and cross it over to the NVIDIA patch note. But I will see you guys and gals in the near future for more NVIDIA-related game-ready driver news.